Good morning, everybody. This is Jamie with Pro Co-op. Uh, happy to be back with you now that harvest is pretty well wrapped up. We've got just a couple guys that are still combining, but for the most part, harvest has been wrapped up. Uh, we saw good yields in the southern part of our trade area. We saw not great yields in the northern part of our trade area, and that is not a shock after the spring's flooding problems. And congratulations to Pocahontas Elevator on they had their they made a new record on their corner seats. That's very awesome. Congratulations and thank you to all of you who helped make that possible. Last week, we had a WASD report. The market has got that pretty well digested. We've got lots of current news events happening in the markets uh, right now, and the markets are feeling pretty comfortable with, with that WASD report, and the funds have been putting on some short positions this week as, as they're getting all of that digested. As we go through the holiday season, and if we see any rallies, those are going to be some prime opportunities for you guys to sell old crop and new crop. I want to mention this. Um, we've had a we've had a big uptick in interest in accumulators over the last uh, harvest season. Um, and that is a great way to add an extra premium to your old crop and new crop sales. There's lots of different styles and lots of different variabilities with them. So I don't really want to go over them here because that'll make a really, really long video. Uh, but if you have questions, contact one of your grain team. I always think about accumulators as your 401 marketing level, with 101 being your uh, cash and offers, and 201 being um, where we separate the elements of the cash and make hedge to arrives and basis contracts. Uh, and then 301, I would consider to be some of your re-ownership strategies where we're using uh, extended price, minimum price. I would also throw bonus premiums in there um, with that. And then your 401s would be your accumulators. Lots of variabilities with those. If you've got questions, contact one of the grain team uh, and we are happy to go through them with you. Beyond that, we've got a couple events coming up in the relatively near future. They'll be here faster than we'd like. January 14th, we're still working on our speakers, but that is going to be our market outlook meeting at the Shores in Emmitsburg. So look for more information on that and we'll have a lot more information next month. Uh, December 11th is our annual meeting. So we've got two opportunities where we get to see you guys in person and that is awesome. Hope that you guys have a happy holiday season and we will visit with you next month.